hard, subscribe to my channel. Mi petit chat, abonnez-vous ma chaîne YouTube. Oi, queridinha, subscreva meu canal de YouTube. Hey, engrafite este canal, Imo. Hola, subscreva te meu canal YouTube. Many Miraculars were disappointed because the stormy weather episode didn't include many fighting scenes as we usually expect. This is simply because the producers wanted this episode to explain the development of all of the main characters. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the villain's development. Let's start with Gabriel Agreste, otherwise known as Hockey. Gabriel has a deep secret that nobody knows about. I am actually hosting a theory competition about what Hakma's deep secret might be. So if you have any theories, be sure to click the link in the description box to enter your theory. He wants to save Emily Agreste by stealing the miraculous jewels so that he can make his final wish. But what he doesn't realize is that there are always a thousand solutions to solve one problem. For example, Hockey could explain to Ladybug and Cat Noir why he needs their miraculous sis so desperately, and the heroes, touched by the situation, would gladly lend their jewels. Or, Hockey could talk to Master Fu so that they together can find a solution. Gabriel realizes that Emily is falling into a deeper sleep and that he is running out of time to save her. Because of this, Hockey is willing to sacrifice even his own son's security. Gabriel loves his son, Adrian, and is going through all of this trouble just so that he can see his son happy again. Let's move on to Natalie, otherwise known as Catalyst and Meira. It seems that there is a mysterious reason as to why Natalie accepted to work for Gabriel Agreste, other than the fact that she would be his secretary. As time goes by, Natalie feels more compassion towards Adrian and Emily Agreste. Natalie is becoming very sick ever since she used the Peacock Miraculous to transform herself into Mayura. And finally, Chloe Bourgeois, transformed into Antibug and Queen Wasp. Chloe didn't develop as much as we expected as she continues to bully everyone around her. But it's not exactly Chloe's fault. Rather, it's her parents' fault. They either don't care about her, or they just can't educate her properly. Chloe's good qualities, such as being smart, elegant, and brave, were starting to outshine her bad qualities when she was given the responsibility of saving Paris as Queen Bee. But when she stopped receiving the Bee Miraculous, she also stopped improving. Which mystery would you like to see and view in the next Miraculous episodes? Comment them down below, subscribe, and share this video with your friends! See ya!